What's going on, everybody? My name is Andre, as you might have already guessed if you've been watching my videos. What's everybody up to today? Today is, uh, the weather here is pretty shitty today. It's only 13 degrees, I gotta say, and it looks like it's gonna rain. Well, it look, looked like it was gonna rain the, this whole day, but we haven't gotten a drop yet, so. So, what's uh, the plan for today? Right now, well, I got off work in about, about half hour ago, actually. Well, about 40 minutes ago. And uh, just heading over to my parents' house to grab my voting ballot. Since today is uh, the last day, well, yeah, I think the last official day uh, for the Alberta election. So, I gotta make my vote, vote count. Gotta vote for the right people. Who, if you guys are from Alberta, who are you voting for? God damn this guy. Sorry, so close. There you go. Yeah, who are you guys voting for if you guys uh, are from Alberta? If any of you guys are. Um, I'm voting for some, I'm, I'm voting for somebody who will actually make change. Uh, hopefully make change for this province because it really needs some. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna put my vote in, and hopefully something happens. Uh, but so far the polls are good, so that's that's good. But let's uh, what's what do I want to talk about today? Well, one thing I noticed is I touch my nose lots in videos. Uh, I don't know why why I do that. Sometimes I'll like if uh, I'll get itchy or whatever, but it must be like a habit or something. It's it's weird. But no, well, one thing I actually want to bring up today is, let's say, uh, is stuff about work. Uh, give me your two cents on this. Um, let's say you're you're working with people, uh, like in your on your teams or in the same office building, and you guys all do, let's say, the same kind of work. You support different people. You give support to other clients. You provide a service. Um, and let's say. You're tasked, uh, like I'll say, this one user, this one person was tasked uh, to help, help, a, to help a user uh, with whatever issue they had, and they they worked on it, they worked on it, and uh, you know they, they did everything they could, but they couldn't fix it. They did everything that they could. They did, did their research, and uh, um, they did what everything that they had an option to do, and they even asked for help, and they couldn't solve the issue. They did everything they could, and they said said that you know what. We canceled the issue at the moment, uh, but we are still looking into it to see if uh, we can find a solution for it, like a permanent solution, rather than a workaround. Um, so let's say that that goes on, whatever, and uh, then you know your work, and this other coworker of yours, so let's say of yours, this coworker of yours, and uh, he provides the same service um, with your on a different team or whatever to that client usually as well, and. That client emailed him or her or whoever, and they asked about this issue to see if maybe if they would know. And uh, so that that person who provides the service as well goes over that user. And uh, yeah, I just got caught off guard because that guy looked, looked like he was gonna hit the other Volvo which was crossing for the driving skills. Uh, but yeah, so um, let's say that that user, which uh, your which is your co like okay, that that co your your coworker. Uh, that provides the same service as you gets an email from that user who's having this software issue or hardware issue or whatever it is and they ask them to see if, if they know uh, that there's a solution so your coworker goes over there fixes it and says oh and just like I'm not sure if you talk to the client or what uh, but the issue gets solved and it's a very quick fix he did it in a very uh, simple way and uh, he fixed it in let's say 50-20 minutes whatever he or she or whatever and um, then it comes back to your office and let's say you're sitting around with a group of people uh, at your office, like your other co-workers and this, your co-worker, the one who just fixed the issue comes into, your, comes into this group where you are with everybody else and condescends you to the point of uh, like condescends you about the work that, that you did or people who were with you and the work that they did in front of everybody to the point where you like what is your problem? You know if uh why couldn't you take this up like on a personal to personal basis so you have to raise your level or condescend down to me 
uh, about the work I did. You know, I did the work to the best of my abilities, uh, or like the person who was working on it. Like, let's say I was working on it. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do the work to the best of my abilities, right? And if I wouldn't have, have a solution, I would research for it. It doesn't take me five minutes to research for a solution uh, or an issue that's happening. You know what? And if you found the, the solution within, uh, within five minutes, or if you already knew the solution, great. That's great for you. You know what? The client's happy. The issue's been solved. But don't come into an area where there's lots of people, your other coworkers, and condescend down to one of your coworkers at that's such a low level. Man, what do you guys think? Like, you know, I saw this happen uh, a few days ago. And I was just like, are you serious? This happened right in front of my eyes. I was like, I never thought you knew that this person could do such a thing. But condescend to somebody, so to one of your coworkers, especially on such a low level and just put them down that hard. That's that's something that I really frown upon. You know what, so let's say if I'm dealing with, let's say if I support uh, some client, for example, or some building, and I have three support people uh, that work with me. And let's say two of them go and they work on this issue. And let's say, for example, uh, let's say a user uses Adobe, for example, or they use Microsoft Office, or let's say some specialized software, let's say AutoCAD. They're using AutoCAD. And uh, they can't open this certain file that another person sent. And these two tried everything that they could. They researched while they were there. They couldn't find a solution at the moment. They only found a little workaround, which is a little bit annoying or tedious. But they told the client, you know what? Well, we're gonna have a look into this. We'll find you. We'll find. Uh, we'll provide you a permanent solution, which, which is, uh, which actually will work properly. Just we don't have one right at this time. And the client says, okay, whatever. Then maybe an hour or maybe two hours, maybe the next day, whatever. The client emails me because I have a really good rapport with them, and they ask me, you know, have I seen this before or whatever? And I was like, you know what? I'll just stop by. I'm not mind having a look at it. Why not? Because that gives me the option to talk to them, catch up with my clients that I haven't seen, and just, just. Just, just be a friend of be a friend of theirs, right? So, um, let's say I head over there and I look at it. I was like, oh, you know what? I, I'm really good at AutoCAD. I've learned this at school, or whatever. And I know I actually have to fix this. This will take me about five, ten minutes, uh, maybe twenty minutes worth of work, because I've had experience in fixing this. I know where to look for the for the solution for this. And I fix this, whatever. And uh, if I see that, you know what? I fix this, and those guys took like a few hours or a day or whatever to look at this issue. I'm not gonna go up to them and be like, hey, you know what? Why did it take you this long? Why didn't you fix this issue? Blah, 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 in front of everybody. No, no, I wanna go into, let's say, if, a tick, if you have a ticking system, or I'm gonna send them an email or whatever, I wanna put a note in there, be like, hey, you know what? I saw you ran into this issue. I had a previous experience, experience with this. This is how you solve it, so that you know for, 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 for next time. And that's it, like, you know, I give them a tip, tip or two, um, and that's it, like, you don't need to, condescend down to that person and don't just don't drop that down right low level and be like be such a douche about it that's the one thing which is annoying that annoyed me so hard today that's the thing you know if you are in a workplace like that honestly if you come up with an issue with, uh, with your co-worker or if you come up with an issue with somebody you're working with or a client or whoever um, some random 866 numbers calling me do that um, yeah if, some, if you're having an issue with your client don't or a coworker, don't ever burst out in blasphemy or whatever. Don't ever burst out your at your coworker uh, in front of everybody, especially in front of all your other peers and your coworkers. That's just terrible. It's a terrible thing to do. Not only does that make you distrustful, because all the other coworkers will think like, "Oh man, if I mess up, what's this kind of guy going to say to to me? Is he going to throw me under the bus? What's going to happen?" Uh, you know what? Just keep it on a personal basis. Nobody else needs to know about it. You know what? If you have an issue, bring it up on a personal basis. It's easier to resolve, and you don't get this whole conflict all around your work area and your culture, whatever you want to call it. It just, it's absolutely, absolutely annoying, and it's stupid. It's the stupidest thing you can do. And that really grind my gears today when I saw this happen. But you know what? If what is done is done. Uh, it's taken care of, you know. That happened to me. No, I'm, not, I'm gonna take the high road. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, you know what, you did this, this, you know. I'm not, you know, this is how I feel. This is this is this is this is, this is what you did. I think you should have handled it a little bit different. Uh, but you know, we're past this, so let's move on. Let's let's work together, kind of. You know what? I always prefer to have to take the high road because if I don't, or if that other person does not take the high road, you will know, just string on to more and more issues. So, what can you do?
let me know what, what would you guys do with that kind of situation what would what would you if your co-worker will come to you and say hey you only did a terrible job with this you did a terrible job with this you should have done it this way and this way in front of everybody and just condescend out of you what would you do how would you handle that situation that's what i would like to know because maybe i'm seeing it different in a different way that's the thing but let's talk aside from that it's tuesday i got usually i work monday to friday every day whatever but this thursday I am getting my wisdom tooth pulled out, uh, top right one, and I am so not looking forward to it. Luckily though, uh, this uh, she, my dentist, she can pull it out no problems. She pulled out my top left one, and from what I remember, yeah, it's painful, whatever, but all I heard was just cold, crack, and it was gone. That's it. Didn't feel too much pain from what I remember, but in the next few days, yeah, of course, you can't eat the food that you love, you gotta eat all this, like, yogurt or applesauce or whatever you gotta eat so that you don't get us infected and you don't get food stuck in there so and so I won't be going to work on Friday probably I'll be taking a day off maybe I'll spend some time gaming or if I can talk enough and I don't look like a swollen apple uh, then I'll, maybe I'll do, do uh, another video or two we'll see maybe I'll go for a cruise uh, but we'll see how that goes uh, as well as uh, so maybe I'll even game but we'll see but the one thing is, of course, is I started working out uh, because of my buddy. My buddy's always been hassling me, like, you know, come work out during lunch, come work out during lunch. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather work out in the morning or uh, after work, whatever. But just saying that, you know, you don't have that motivation when you get home. You're like, oh, you know what? I can do this tomorrow. I can do this tomorrow. Or you wake up early in the morning, you're like, oh, yeah, I can work out today. You work up, and when you wake up the next morning, you're like, oh, you know, I kind of want to sleep in. I'm tired. I kind of want to sleep in. I'm tired again. And, there's no motivation there, there's no consistency, right? But now there's four of us working out uh, during lunch. And it's, it's awesome. There's always, I always have the motivation to go work out. There's always consistency about what we do, how many sets we do, how many reps we do, this and that. Uh, and I think it's just, uh, it's a nice way of working out. Especially if you're working out, work out, try to work out with another person because it's more fun working out with somebody else so that you can uh, help each other out, help your form out. A spot, you have a spotter and all this stuff so I've been working out now uh, consistently for almost three weeks and you know I feel good it feels really nice to get back into working out and doing some strength training and this and that so uh, that's the one thing I'll probably miss most is uh, when I uh, get my wisdom teeth pulled uh, it's not being able to work out for a few days for sure uh, that's it's all because you know what as I pulled out you don't want to open up the wound again and get, uh, get infected or get or uh, make it bleed again because I don't want to have a mouthful of blood when I'm working out that should be a terrible thing to have honestly but I think uh, I'll live for those few days where I can uh, I'm not going to say you know I'm not one of those purposes who's kind of like oh, I gotta work out every day <laughs> but I don't I don't stand in front of uh, the glass like Ur. oh yeah yeah I'm so big no you know I'm there I'm there to work out and uh, I'm there to in shape. I want you both to uh, have a little bigger chest, bigger, a bit of wider shoulders, you know, uh, bigger biceps, triceps, just so I can stay in shape. And that's what I'm there for. And especially when you have uh, more support, more, more motivation, that's awesome. It's really good. Yeah. But that's, that's, that, that's that mostly. That's that. I don't have any uh, crazy stories yet. I think I'll uh, tell you guys some more stories in my next few videos. Uh, about where I'm from and this and that. I'm sure a lot of people probably uh, have figured out where I'm from uh, by my first name and probably by my last name even. Uh, please don't creep me on Facebook and this and that or try not to find uh, where I live, etc. Because I don't think it would be there. I don't think it would be that hard. Um, uh, but please don't. <laughs> It'll be kind of creepy as well. Uh, It'll be kind of weird uh, for the moment, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah. Man. But even if you like, uh, if I look back at the topic, actually, uh, uh, my last vlog, we talked about uh, rear wheel driving, all wheel drive cars, and if I should get an AMG. And you know what? I, I honestly, I've been thinking about that like crazy, almost non stop. I really want a more high performance car, but uh, at the moment, honestly, I, I just can't afford that at the moment. You know, if I had the money right now, if I could uh, drop 50 grand on a car, oh, Hands down, I would drop uh, the 50 grand on a 2015 C63 AMGS. 
just a newer version of this car, but it's an AMG and it is all-wheel drive. That's the one thing which I really want because if I want it, I want it to be a daily driver. I want to use it year-round. I want to use it in the winter. I want to be able to use it to go to the lake, etc., etc. Um, that's the main thing. If I really could afford an AMG or like a Merc or whatever, uh, I would really put my money towards an E63 AMG S wagon. As of course, you know, some of you guys might know, I love my wagons. I love my Avant, Avant uh, rides, Avant cars. Um, my wagons, I just absolutely love them for some reason. Well, especially well, the, Euro, the Euro wagons, nothing else. Uh, but like the S4 uh, or RS4 wagons, obviously the RS6, which only comes in a wagon now, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I did start liking the CLS uh, and the RS, uh, I mean, not the RS, A7 body line. Uh, all because it's uh, it's different. It's uh, it's very sleek. It, yes, it is a four door, uh, but they call it a it's a, they call it a coupe though, because it got, it's got that coupe styling, those sleek body lines. Looks looks like it's a two door, but it actually is a four door. But uh, that's that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. But one day, one day, one day. But I do have another story for you guys for uh, actually. About things that happened in the gym today. Uh, I'll have to tell you guys that story. Hopefully, I'll, I'll probably in my, my next video. I'll tell you guys the story about uh, things that happened in the gym and uh, things I ran into. And I'll actually want to mind getting your, your guys' opinion on it. See what, well, how do you guys think I should handle uh, this little situation? It's not a bad situation, no doubt about that. It's a great situation. Um, so we'll see uh, what your guys' opinion on that is. Uh, but. For now, make sure to like the video, subscribe, uh, comment, anything you want to comment on, uh, let me know, um, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.